From Washington, this is VOA News. I'm David Byrd reporting. Former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton holds a massive campaign rally in New York. In a nationally televised address from Roosevelt Island in New York, Clinton told thousands of supporters she was running for president for all Americans, including those left behind after the recession. Prosperity can't be just for CEOs and hedge fund managers. Democracy can't be just for billionaires and corporations. Prosperity and democracy are part of your basic bargain, too. The Democratic candidate launched a stinging attack on the Republican Party, referencing the crowded field of candidates trying to run against her as out of touch with a diverse electorate. Mrs. Clinton will begin campaigning in Iowa on Sunday. A man who attacked the Dallas, Texas police headquarters with gunfire and explosives early Saturday has been found dead after being shot by a police sniper. The hours-long ordeal began early Saturday morning when the unidentified suspect fired multiple shots at Dallas police headquarters. He also left behind at least two explosive devices. Officers cornered the attacker in his armored van in a Dallas suburb. Dallas Police Chief David Brown said the attacker had one goal, killing police. Uh, We believe this uh, suspect meant to kill officers and took time to discharge that weapon multiple times to accomplish their wanting to harm our officers. More than seven hours after it began, a Dallas police spokesman posted on the department's Twitter account that the suspect was dead. This is VOA News. Iranian President Hassan Rouhani says a final nuclear agreement between Tehran and six world powers is within reach this month, provided that no new issues arise in the days ahead. The Iranian president said the Islamic Republic will allow inspections of its nuclear facilities, but would not accept a U.N. inspection plan that jeopardizes state secrets. Iran is negotiating with the so-called P5 plus 1 group to reach a deal by June 30th that would limit Tehran's nuclear program in exchange for relief from sanctions. Pakistan's military says airstrikes have killed 20 suspected militants in a troubled northwestern tribal region near the Afghan border. A statement Saturday said the strikes killed insurgents in the Datakel area in north Waziristan. Pakistan's army began a major campaign against the Taliban and other militant groups in the north Waziristan tribal area one year ago. Syrian Kurdish forces are reported to be attacking a key border town held by Islamic State militants. The Syrian Observatory for Human Rights said Saturday the main Syrian Kurdish fighting force, backed by rebels and coalition warplanes, advanced farther into Raqqa province in northern Syria in a bid to capture the key border town of Tal Abiyad. The activist group said Kurdish forces laid siege to the Islamic State-held town of Saluk, about 10 kilometers from Tal Abiyad. The fighting has forced thousands of residents to flee to Turkey. Hundreds of Syrian refugees gathered near the Turkish border Saturday in an attempt to escape the violence. Oman has accepted for resettlement six Yemeni men who were detainees at the U.S. military prison at Guantanamo Bay. The U.S. Defense Department said in a statement that it is grateful for Oman's willingness to help ongoing efforts to close the detention facility. Some in the international community have condemned the jail at the U.S. naval base in Cuba, where dozens of prisoners have been held without being charged or tried.
President Obama used his weekly media address to again ask the House of Representatives to pass a key part of his free trade agenda. Mr. Obama said the working retraining program, known as Trade Adjustment Assistance, will help preserve American jobs. Simply put, America has to write the rules of the 21st century economy in a way that benefits American workers. If we don't, countries like China will write those rules in a way that benefits their workers. The House of Representatives voted down the training program Friday, but Republicans say that they will put it back on the agenda this week. For more, visit our website. I'm David Byrd in Washington. That's the latest world news from VOA.